Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn how to use a wireless network bridge to extend our PoE network system. For those who are familiar with PoE, we all know that the PoE technology is how we transmit power and data through one single Ethernet cable. And this will make our setup more convenient since we don't have to worry about an extra power cord next to our IP device and we have, don't have to find the alternate current outlet as well. So for normal PoE networks and the Ethernet cable, they only go 100 meters because after 100 meters, the transmission is meaningless. We'll suffer from power loss and data loss. So it, if we want to get further distance on the transmission, we're going to have to use extenders. But if we just only use extenders, the transmission can only go up to 500 because we can only daisy chain them and create a 500 meter network. If we want to go further, we can use a ultra long distance PoE switch to push all the way almost to 800 meters. But to go any further, it seems impossible with any kind of device. In that case, if we want to reach further distance, we're going to use fiber optic cables. Fiber optic cables create like the, in the unit of kilometers and really high bandwidth. But the only down part is it is using a different kind of signal for transmission. So our regular routers or switches will need to have the ability to receive op uh, fiber optic cables and there's a fiber optic signal. So it's going to be a little bit of a big project if we introduce fiber optic cables to our system. Well, now we have another way. We, all we need to do is make sure there is a clean area, an obstacle free area between these two devices. And then we can create a very long wireless network for our transmission. And this network can go all the way up to three kilometers, but this has to depend on what kind of transmitter we use. So the device we're gonna use is called a wireless network bridge. It is a two piece device. It has, it comes in a pair. There is usually a master device and a slave device. Usually we can switch these two to different roles depending on which one connects to our main network. So the wireless network bridge has a really easy principle. One goes to our main network, the master device, and then it will receive data from the main network and transmit it via, uh, in wireless signals. And then is the slave device, which is a receiver. It receives the wireless signal and then transmit data to any IP devices connected to it with an ethernet. So, and also other benefits from them is they run on very low voltages, so it's really easy to provide some power for it. And we, we can create a very smooth network with almost zero interference as long as we make sure the area is clear. And it's really easy to install. We just have to put them in high, clean areas and make sure they face each other, creating a line a line of sight so they can transmit and receive the data without any obstacles or trouble and once you plug it you know once they connect to each other they have a virtual tunnel for the data to to transmit so usually this tunnel is has zero interference with our main network even our main network is suffering from latencies and sometimes some buffering our virtual tunnel will have zero interference, so just transmit the signal, whatever happens, no matter whatever happens. So today, we're going to use this to create an extended PoE network, maybe say a thousand meters away. So we're going to use this wireless network bridge, and then at the receiver, we're going to connect to a PoE powered switch. A PoE powered switch, everybody's familiar. It acts as power sourcing equipment and power device. It receives power and data from one port and then it will output power and data to IP devices connected to it and work as a little network system in the field. So it's really convenient. In this case, we're gonna have to, you know, since we're gonna have cameras around, we're gonna use its external power source, which is a power adapter here and connect to it. This is all waterproof, so the cameras, the receiver, the power switch are all okay for outdoor conditions. That is also what we need to make sure when we do this. So now 
Let's take a look at the setup. So right now, I have an MVR and a monitor here set up. I'll use our master device. You can see this is switched on master, the M right now. And then I will connect our MVR with the Ethernet cable to our transmitter. And then use a 12 volt power source, a power adapter to provide its power You can see there is Ethernet and power indicator on. It's really just meaning there's power and network and data going through it right now. So then we'll hang this up right here. Meaning it's like, can the, imagine this is outdoor on a high pole so there is like very wide area for it to transmit. And then on our other side, let's go a thousand meters away right here now. And a thousand meters away, I have my receiver here. First, I'm gonna connect it to a power source. 12 volts direct current as well. And make sure it is on slave so it can work as a receiver. And now, best part, connect our LAN port with it. And then the LAN port, the ethernet cable goes to our PoE powered switch. And since this is an eight port PoE powered switch, remember, we always have to let the power and data, the main power and data go to port number eight in order for us to receive, for the powered switch to receive power and data and spread it out. And I'm gonna turn on the power for the powered switch. You see it has power on right now. Really easy to understand. So now I'm gonna hang this beauty up. Oh, let you guys see that the power and ethernet is on as well. So really easy to understand. Hang this up, letting them, these two to be in caught in sight, line of sight. So they're transmitting to each other smoothly. And then the best part, since this is able to output 30 Watts, we're gonna connect a panel tilt zoom camera and an IP camera to our powered switch. So this should be able to let these two both function properly, normally. So our IP camera to port number one. And our IP panel tip zoom camera to port number, another port, any port one through seven. And then, our PDC camera is now self-diagnosing, so we know it's on. And we already have an image from our first camera. I'll wave my hand in front of the camera for you guys to see. Yes, it's a really smooth live stream. You can see everything is moving. My fingers are moving. And let's just wait for the image on the Pelanto Zoom camera to show up. And yes, we have a clear image. Wave my hand in front of it again. Yep, got a smooth image. Okay, so this means this whole setup is complete and it works well. And that's pretty much it for, th for this video. If you guys have any more questions about this setup, you can leave them at the section below. And thank you guys for watching today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.